So as before this video starts, if you guys are new to the channel and like my team content, subscribe. We are trying to win 150,000 subscribers by the start of May. I'm working extremely hard, getting three, four videos, even more some out some days. So if you guys like my team content, pretty much any type of my team content, subscribe. But anyway, now let's get on to the video. What is going on, guys? DBG here, and this is just a video that I kind of um, wanted to make for a while, and it's just kind of something that is more so a case now than ever before, and it's been something that I've been saying literally since NBA 2K16, pretty much, since I basically started this channel. Like, if you guys, there are some of you guys that are still here from the 2K17 days, and I based my entire channel about around this. And even though I've based some of my series around this, even though I can go out and win almost every single game with a no money squad, I'll be at a very, very good no money squad. I'm also going out with my Road to Glory squad, which is like, I think I have Landry Fields, Ruby, Stevenson, uh, Jeremy Lin, D Brown. I've got Marby in that squad as well. My centers are Banyani and Turner. I got I got Carl Malone. So I have a few good players in that squad. And I've still only lost one game out of like seven on that series. So like no matter what, there is no doubt. There's no question about it. Like um, I've, I'm proving that what I'm saying is true or somewhat true. And what I'm saying in this video is it's obviously is the title of this video. And it's that you should never spend money on packs. You should never... Well, not never. Like, again, you can spend money the way you, uh, whatever way you want. If this is your hobby, if you like opening packs, if you guys want to spend all your money on these packs, um, I'm going, like, I'm not going to stop you. I'm just going to give advice on why I think no one ever should. Like these packs. So if you guys want to open two, 40 packs of flash packs, and in 40 flash packs, you are probably going to get nothing like you're probably going to get maybe or a couple of chancy billups maybe a steve a couple of steve nashes maybe a Maz bridges probably nothing else and a good few shacks and kenny walker obviously but that is probably going to be it and then these all star moments packs are just horrendous you're probably not getting anything these packs to be honest but um pretty much yeah like i don't think it's you again it's needed to open packs and i know there is another way of people um, get spending money on the game which I'm not going to mention um, and I also think that actually I'm going to mention it, it's buying MT and there is huge problems with buying MT one, it's a risk of getting banned two, you're, gonna, you're at a risk of being scammed because there is a ton of scammers and three, you are if you go through one of those websites it could take you 24, 48 hours to get your MT and the customer support is horrendous so while again like I shouldn't, I can't really promote buying MT. Um, legally, there's nothing wrong with it. There, I am going to warn you, if that's what you're, the way you're wanting to get your MT, you there's a good chance of you being banned. And there's also an, probably an even more likely chance of you being scammed. So I would advise against that as well. So I don't advise anyone to really spend any more than $60 or 60 euro or 70 euro, whatever it costs on the game. And I don't know, I think that's just because of the way that I started playing these games. Like, I got into Ultimate Team in FIFA, back in FIFA 12, FIFA 13, the kind of glory days of FIFA, and that was pretty much all I played. 2K14, 15, my team, 16, my team, never spent a cent, 17, my team, and I was ha perfectly happy playing in those games. I didn't spend a cent on any of them. I was able to make content. Like, I got 10,000 subscribers without spending a cent on the game, and also without major grinding on the game either, using budget cards and showing them off. And... I don't know, maybe it's just for me, I find more enjoyment finding budget cards, using these cards, and um, than using the high overall cards. But obviously there's some people that like to have the advantage. What all I'm going to say is that this year, more than any year, there is no point spending money on packs. And especially right now, there is no point. Because there's a few cards that are, have kind of summed it all up. So, Miles Bridges is one. So, Miles Bridges, right now, you, I picked my own up for 15k MT yesterday. So, 15k MT... You're getting a guy, 25 intangibles, 24 Hall of Fame badges, 19 golds. Um, like, you can get 15 KMT from an hour just playing the game. Like, you can't just get everything for free, but if you want something for cheap, everyone should have 15 KMT. A card like this. Even better example is Lance Stevenson. 
Like, this game is so based around a few specific badges that these cards are as good as any other card in the game. Like, Miles Bridges. If you compare Miles Bridges, in my opinion, like, I know stats-wise they might be, there might be a bit of a difference. Well, not, there might be, there is a bit of a difference. So you got a moment's, um, Kawhi Leonard. You're looking at 315k compared to 15k. And you're comparing these guys, obviously Kawhi is an inch taller. Kawhi is a little bit of a better shooter, but again, Miles Bridges release is fantastic, it makes no difference. Bridges is a better dunker. Defensively, they're similar, but Kawhi is a, Kawhi is a bit better. Uh, rebounding, Bridges is better. Speed-wise, they're similar. Lateral quickness-wise, um, Kawhi is better. Yeah, sure, 10 extra Hall of Fame badges. That's great and all, but like only a few of them matter. Hall of Fame Intimidator is a massive one for Kawhi, and so is Hall of Fame Range Extender. But at the same time, if you're looking at Miles Bridges, he's got those badges gold. He's got Clamps gold as well. Actually, he doesn't have Intimidator gold. But um, Kawhi has got Intimidator, Clamps, Hall of Fame. They're great. Like, But gold Clamps is good. Range Extender gold is good. Quick Draw gold is sometimes better than Hall of Fame. Then you're looking at the badges. He's got Hall of Fame downhill, Quick First Step. Got Hall of Fame um, Catch and Shoot as well, Corner Specialist. And honestly, there's not that much of a difference between gold and Hall of Fame badges in general. Like, There is not that much of a difference at all. And you're looking at a card here that just because he's a 98 overall and he looks better is costing way, way more. And one thing that 2K have done a really good job of doing is that they've released really good cheap players. So if you look at the last couple of batches, you look at flash packs. So premium, you go to flash packs. You've got three incredible cards. You got Chauncey Billups, who's exceptional. You got Shaq, who's exceptional. And Kenny Walker's pretty good for a budget card. Again, like, don't be fooled by overalls. Don't be fooled by prices. If you want Shaquille O'Neal, and you really are set on getting the best Shaq, and you want the pink diamond, as I've stated in many videos, you're going, you're getting almost the same card. Same amount of badges, just a few of them are upgraded. And then, I know the stats look like there's a big difference, but there's not. These cards feel the exact same. They feel the exact same ones. Uh, 100k one's 2k and then there's cards like even Lance Stevenson right now um that like, you're looking nine Hall of Fames Hall of Fame clamps he's got Hall of Fame quick first step consistent finisher and then every go every badge you need he has gold pretty much so like there's no point in my opinion buying someone like if you go to uh, premium flash you go to the opals there's no point spending your 250k on him. There's no point spending your 400k on Jordan. There's no point. It does not even a point spending your 400k on LeBron because I get it. LeBron's good, but there's like you can manipulate matchups. Like you can run with a Chauncey Billups at the one and switch Chauncey Billups to guard the two guard and Brandon Roy to guard the point guard and LeBron doesn't just absolutely destroy people. There's ways. Like there's a reason why I've come up against God squads with this team and won. There's a reason why I run Chauncey Billups here. And if you're looking at my main squad on my PC account, why I still have Billups in it. I, that's the thing with this, is that, yes, there's a difference. There is, if you're, I would much rather, like, I wouldn't much rather. I would rather have Brandon Roy or Team act than Lance Stevenson. But I'm telling you, Lance Stevenson gives you 99%, 95% of what Brandon Roy and Team act give you. And not only right now. And I've tried, I've made that argument plenty of times. I've made that argument plenty of times that they're almost as good as the top players. But the argument why I'm going to really say to not open packs is the future. So, all of a sudden, in the last couple of weeks, if you're looking at budget players, we've gotten Billups, we got Stevenson, we got Bridges, and we got a couple of, I know it's been a couple of weeks ago, but we got Landry Fields as well. He's fantastic. Derek Jones Jr. is good as well, but not quite as good as Bridges. We got Carl Malone as well, who's really good. And if you guys compare these to, let's just say, a month, a month and a half ago. If you guys go to the start of January. So look who the premiums were from the start, right before the start of January. So I think the last one we had, New Year's resolution. So you look at Kareem. So you're looking at the pink diamonds we got there. And you're looking at Gary Payton. As I always say, Gary Payton's so broken that he needs to go to the lake of reincarnation to be fixed. This card is awful. Like, yeah, I get it. Yanis came out. Great. Um, you're looking at prime players. So... If you go to, where's a premium? Prime Series 1. You're looking at the likes of, yeah, yeah, it was good. But Boogie? Is Boogie any better than Moz Turner? No. Um, who, Which ones were out late? Carmelo Anthony was another late one. Like, Carmelo Anthony with six Hall of Fame badges. 
You're trying to tell me that this Carmelo Anthony, if he came out right now, would be any more than 5 KMT. No, he wouldn't. No clamps, nothing. Would not be 5 KMT. And the fact is that that's what it's been. That's what the last six weeks has done. That is what the last six weeks has done. Has gone from guys being 100 KMT to now those same players being worth 3, 4 KMT. So what's going to happen in another six weeks from now? What's going to happen at the start of April? Are the cards that are worth 100 KMT going to be worth 3, 4 KMT? I think that's going to happen. I don't think we're going to be seeing too many juiced opals. I think we might see the odd one here or there. For promos, you might see them as rewards and um, things like that. If they do release spotlights, we're probably going to see them as the spotlight rewards. But do I think that um, we're going to see a bunch of like really high rated opals in the next couple of weeks? Probably not. But do I think we're going to consistently see Miles Bridges type 25 intangibles, Chauncey Billups 40 intangibles, Steve Nash type cards that are a tiny step below Elite going for 5, five to 10 KMT? I think that's going to keep happening. And while, sure, if you want to use, let's just say, I'm just going to make a, budget, a real budget squad right here. Let's so go Billups, Mitchell's cheap. Um, small forwards going down to twos. Lance Stevenson, power forwards. This guy's free. And centers. Let's go Turner off the bench. Point guards. Lynn is free and easy to grind. Two guards. Um, where is he? Landry Fields. I'll put Landry Fields in at the three. Will I? Maybe. Um, so let's just go a little bit smaller. Uh, Terrence Davis. Um, power forwards, actually Bridges is there, Walker's pretty cheap as well, I'm going to leave a blank because Marcus Morris is really good, let's just put in Keith Van Horney, 4 KMT, centers, let's go Shaq, let's go centers again, I'm putting Karl Malone, centers again, Barnyan, or, yeah, let's go Barnyani, and something like this, so, if you're looking at this lineup right here, I'd probably go with probably this. Uh, put in Stevenson as the starting two guard. This lineup right here. Probably Davis at the two. Landry at the three. Van Horn at the four. Or, sorry, um, either Shaq and Van Horn or um, Malone and Bagnani. Either, either of those. I'm telling you, this squad right here can compete with anybody. And look, you're looking at this team, you're like... 4K for Billups, 7K Stevenson, 22K after Maz Bridges, at 27K from Turner, 31, 32K in Davis, 33K in Landry Fields plus Evo, 43. It's probably like 55, 55, 60K. For 55, 60K, which is an amount that trust me, anyone can get if they uh, take their time or if they take play any time this game. You can get this in a week. Like if you get this game and play it legit for a week, you can get this, you can get a squad like this. And a team like this can compete with absolutely anybody. Are you going to be at a disadvantage? Yes, but you're going to be at a slight disadvantage. And while you spent no money on this game and a little bit of time, the other guys have either grinded their entire life on the game or spent half of their savings. So there's honestly no need for the tiniest disadvantage. If there was a significant advantage, like if these guys didn't exist, and budget cards, you are being forced to use, I don't know, like, Penny, who's not great. Or Markel Fultz, those type of players. That would have been budget cards in, like, quite a while ago. If you were being forced to use them, then fair enough. You can make an argument to spend money on the game. But there's so little difference that there's no point. And also, one last thing, lads, if, you're, if anyone's under 18, um... Do not open packs. I'm saying right now, if you're under 18, do not open packs. One, like, I, again, I get it. It might be your own money. One, I would much... It's much better option if you are getting a PSN card um, for any... Like, if you got a PSN card for Christmas, use that and put it towards NBA 2K21. Put it towards getting a new game or any other game you want. And also, as much as... They like to call it quote unquote surprise mechanics. This is gambling. So um, I would always advise against anyone under the age of 18 not to open packs. But anyway, yeah. So anyway, that is the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.